So everyone, for this giveaway, in the interest of maximum participation and opportunity for people to win, and considering all the people that live overseas or not in the continental United States, I'm going to clarify that the rules is saying this. If you live in the United States, shipping is free. If you live outside the United States, all I ask for is that you pay for shipping if you win. So the rules are you're going to enter the code word in either in today's video and the next video. The code number, and if you don't know what the code number is, go back to video 356 and that'll explain how you get the code number. And then whatever comments you want to leave with that. And yeah, those are the rules. So free if you're in the U.S., please pay if you're outside the United States and win. And enter the code word and the code number. Okay, I just wanted to clarify that and I will include in the video what the code word is in this video and in the next video. And they're going to be two separate code words, just so you know. Okay, wanted to just make that very clear. Good luck, everybody, and I hope you enjoy this video. And while I was making this, these guys photobombed me from behind me. Hi, everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKee Art, and welcome to my channel. Once again, thank you all subscribers, all of you guys for being here. I really appreciate your support. Without you, this wouldn't have any point. And if you're new here uh, and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, you can join with the rest of us. So I'm going to dive right in. This is a CD and I've already taped the back. I'm not going to I'm not going to pick it up because I got it centered, but I got the back taped. People often ask about the hole. I just tape over the hole underneath just like taping the back. And then I pour. And then when I get done, get to the resining portion, I just drill through the resin and that hole with the tape still on. And then I put my clock mechanism on. So that was my Multi-Pro 47-3110. All right. My colors, I'll call these out as I go. This is Prism Pores Violet Rose with Artist Loft um, Metallic Purple. And I keep putting on a lot, but I think I like it. Oh, and there's something else in there. There's Dioxazine Purple from Golden. I forgot to mention that before. You know what? Let me give this thing a bang. Now, see those big bubbles come up already? All right, this is Amsterdam's Persian Persian Rose with Pearl White. This color's been, been a little bit shy, as has this. This is Arteza's Pearl Lime Green. really want this to show off. <clears throat> this is TLP's Agapanthus with Artist Loft's Light Violet. And this color really reflects very beautifully with that darker purple, which I'm going to put up right now. There's an air bubble. We're back to the purple. My gold, which is 24 karat gold by Deco Art and Golden's Iridescent Gold. And if you've watched me at all, you'll know that I love this combination. I think the 24 karat gold brings the right amount of bling and the uh, Golden's Iridescent Gold brings the nice grounding of beautiful gold coloring. It's a softer, softer gold. Last color here is Artesis per, uh, Cadmium Green Oxide with a little sky blue from Arteza and a tiny bit of carbon black by Golden.
All right. I've lifted up my spinner, so now I'm a little off kilter. All right, I'm going to put the white down first. I'm going to follow it up with some cell activator that's uh, Amsterdam's Persian Rose. This is my American Floetrol Cell Activator recipe, video 141. I'll link it above. White. Here we go. So when in my usual fashion, I often like to talk through the blow, and what I do is I blow straight down into the cell activator to start with to try to get a full circle and to get the paints to form a ridge. Then I aim my blow at the ridge, and you'll notice I'm shaking my head back and forth, and sometimes I forget to do this, but when I do do that, it helps make the bloom plume out in a nice, round, open fashion, as you can see. That's just a very subtle point I sometimes forget to talk about and sometimes even forget to do. Stop right there. Now I'm going to stretch the pillow out over the edge. Cover the sides. While I like the Persian Rose Cell Activator color, it's not been the most responsive. And it isn't opaque. So I shouldn't be fighting it. But some colors work better than others. Here we go. Gentle starting spin. I could do these all day. I really, really have to be better about <clears throat> finding a good color palette and using up the paints in it because I have wasted so much. I've wasted some paint. Just uh, because it sits around for a while and then and then you don't get back to the color combination and then you go to use it and realize that the paints have just gotten thick or sometimes just dry. Really don't want to lose these guys. Those are beautiful. So let's try to be careful about that. I'd rather leave that, some of that green on and leave the cells than lose it. Yeah, I haven't done a pink color combination, purple color combination in a while. So this will make some people happy, namely Pamela. If you're out there, Pamela, <laughs> you are going to love this combination. Also, as we go forward, anywhere there's a cleanup portion, I'm going to cut it out. Let's get one, one little whirl. off to one side. All right. I'm going to leave it like it is. Just try spreading out that gold a little bit just to make it look deliberate. Like it was meant to be there. All right, so quick cleanup. As I mentioned on the other piece, when I clean up, especially with the Multi Pro or any house paint, you want to pull it out and down because look at that's holding on. Look at the snap on that, my fingertip. Pull it out and down. Because when that paint snaps back, you don't want it snapping into your composition. And if I were to go out or pull it out like this, when that paint snaps, it's going straight in. So that is your pro tip of the day. And I've shared it before, so it's nothing new. But for anybody new out there, that is a very nice tip to know. Nobody told me that. And let me tell you. Most of the tips I share with you guys are tips, are things that I found on my own. 
And I only wish that I had somebody like me <laughs> as I was coming up to share some of these tips. I know I asked in one of the videos if anybody was interested in me getting a Patreon account going. And only one person responded. Um, and I don't know if you guys might be interested in that or not. It's where I would provide uh, behind the scenes footage, more tips to those people that were part of the group. So anyway, here we are, folks. That's where we are. I think it's really pretty. Very different from my usual stuff. So I'm not sure if I'm going to show this at all, but this is the piece that I'm going to work with. There's the whole piece itself. And I cut this with the jigsaw and I cut the bottom flat with the whatever that saw is called, <laughs> table saw. Okay, we'll see where we go with this. So here I'm just showing the mineral spirits which I used to clean the piece prior to staining. So real quick, here I'm just showing you the natural stain by Minwax I used, the gloves, and the rag to apply the stain to that piece with. So when I'm back with the clock, with the stand that I made, and I think this is how I'm gonna have it. Now, I've been going back and forth trying to debate whether to put it this way, or the way I've got it here. You know what, maybe I'll put up a poll and let you guys help me decide. But it can go either way. Here's how it looks both ways. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think in the comments. For now, it's gonna be like this. So my plan is to varnish this and apply some of these flower petals to it. And I got these off Amazon. These are like some dried flowers. Now, I'm not gonna go through the whole process with you. Um, what I'll do, you know what, I'll just apply one and we'll see how it goes. And then I'll go from there. So I'm just gonna take one of these little guys. I was thinking about putting them up here. These, these are too big. So I was just going to put these up here, one place and the other. So let me give it a little varnish. And I'm just doing the same thing that I did with my fusion piece. Just going to Varnish it on there. So that's one. So yeah, I'll put the other one on there and then I'll decide where I'm gonna put these others and then I'll come back and show you what I end up with. And then here I'm just showing you my matte acrylic that I'm using as my adhesive basically. So real quick where I am now is I'm just adhering this guy on here. You know, it's a first try. I'm sure I'll learn what I'm doing as I do this more. So I'm gonna probably apply one or two more of these and call it done. And then once it dries, I'll apply at least one coat of varnish to it. All right, everybody, so I've got my applications on. So there are the flowers. And then I am gonna come back and varnish this. And I think I'm going to use a gloss varnish. So everyone, I'm going to go on fast forward here. And this is where I am applying the varnish. And this is semi-gloss from Minwax Varnish. And I'm just going to go through this really quick. This is my first coat. I ultimately put on two coats. I may end up adding a third. I'm not sure yet. But just going to go real quick and show you what I'm doing here. I'm only working on the outside of it. I'm not going to, re uh, I'm not going to varnish the inside crevices. So while I have your undivided attention, I'm gonna share the code word for the giveaway. And the code word is Asheville. Following the code word, make sure you include the code number. 
And if you don't know what I'm referring to with the code number, you need to go back to the prior video, which is video 356, and see what the rules are for this scavenger hunt giveaway. It's in that video, I explain how you figure out the code number for this two part code. And remember, this is open to anyone in the world. I just ask if you're outside the continental United States that you pay for the shipping. If you're within the continental United States, shipping is free. So once again, the code word is Asheville, followed by the code number. And if you know how to figure it out, you're good to go. If not, go back to video 356, and it's all spelled out there. And here, I'm pretty much done with the varnishing portion. So everyone, here are the final results. With the application of the little flowers, the varnishing over the top, and the final assembly with the clock face on it. And I am really happy with this. This is a first try for me to varnish on other things than paint skins. I thought from doing the paint skins with my fusion pieces, I would try doing this, and it worked out really good. Even with varnishing, I was worried the varnish wasn't going to secure it well enough, but it did. So if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. I always appreciate a thumbs up and a comment. And remember to enter the giveaway, to enter the code word and the code number in the comment section. At the end, I will have a link to other clock creations if you want to take a look. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Till next time.